Today I'm going to take another look at a ray mesh brush and just how amazing it really really is. Look at this right here. This looks like a really complicated uh, sub tool that took me ages and ages to make and has uh, thousands of polygons and uh, this is only 386 points and I very very quickly created a really really nice background texture um, with the array mesh uh, drop down. Okay, so I'm not satisfied with this anymore, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, now that deleted. Looks like uh, I I appended it twice, so that deleted the first one, and then delete deletes both of them. So if we array mesh and then transpose and move this however far, repeat. Okay, that, I like that. And then append new. Okay, transpose is still on. Let's move this up quickly. Okay, that looks good. Let's repeat this a few times. I love it. And then let's append another time. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Sweet. Oh, that, you could use that in so many different things. <laughs> I just uh, joined a band and, uh, these are all the wires that we need to plug in for our audio cables. <laughs> um, okay, we appended another time, so I'm going to move this back just like so and repeat this a few times, which will make it look even cooler. Pretty sweet. This is. Oh, that's so cool! I have, uh, hmm, anyway, uh, let's see, okay, now if you delete, right, it doesn't delete everything, it just deletes that uh, append new, so delete, okay, got that got rid of that dimension, and then delete again, that got rid of that dimension, and then delete, back to square one. Now this is what I started out with, right, and I made this uh, very, very quickly. Let's make another one real quick, just so everybody can see. Okay, uh, project. This is my favorite subtool to start using. QQ Bevel. I love this. T this is really cool. This is a really quick way to get into get into Z Modeler. Okay, so um, uh, B Z M. Okay, now we've got. By default, it goes to Q Mesh. I love this uh, feature brush tool whatever because you can quickly pull out any face you want to let's hold shift F to see the polygons a little more okay that looks nice um, okay and then quickly make something Yeah. Okay, then uh, let's see. Split. Perfect. Okay. Then, okay, Q mesh, that's activated. Now hold down Alt and highlight a few of these faces. Pull up. Create another uh, split down love it okay now this only has 82 faces let's um, look at the top view to look at it and this looks pretty nice okay so let's zoom out and then open up uh, a ray mesh okay activate it then turn transpose on now we're gonna make another uh, pattern like we did like I showed initially, so I'm going to select the move tool with transpose activated and drag in one direction holding shift. Uh, I don't think it's that necessary when you're using transpose with transpose with array mesh because you can click and drag and if it senses it's in a direction it will just snap automatically but it's a good habit to get into. Okay, so move. Okay, holding shift down so it goes directly you know, left and right. 
Okay. A uh, little bit more. Okay, perfect. Now let's array mesh this, or uh, repeat it a few times. Press F to frame. Okay, and then append new. Then click and drag up. Okay, now we want to move this up a little ways. Okay, and then repeat. Wait, not smooth. Yeah, repeat. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, I like that, but I want a little bit more space. So I can still adjust this. I've got the move tool selected. I can um, stretch that out a little bit. Oh, that looks nice. Cool. Okay, now let's see. Transform stage one. <gasps> Ooh, I have never done this before. Let's see if this works. I think it will. Let's go back to stage one. Oh, pretty wicked. Okay, uh, if we re, uh, if we increase this repeat, let's see what happens. Holy crap! Holy crap! Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited right now. Okay, let's move this over. We are crossing the strings right now uh, Ghostbusters saying oh that's so cool oh I love it perfect keep it nope okay that's good now we can go back to uh, transform stage 2 to look at what wow that is so nifty sweet okay press F to frame and that is our texture. Pretty sweet. We just learned something new right now, and I'm excited. You can have as many uh, transform stages as you want to, and you can go in, uh, look at any one of them you want to, and adjust it, and the whole thing updates. It's pretty wicked. Sweet. Okay, stay tuned for the next video, everybody. Wait, here, let's, let's uh, render this out real quick. I think I've got a few BPR filters on it, so it should look pretty nice. But I can take this texture into Photoshop and do stuff. And apply it to more 3D models that I could put. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shift F. Okay. Now render again. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. Cool. I made that. <laughs> nice. Okay. See you next time.